The following contest is a table tag. And it's for the championship. Introducing the challenger from San Juan Puerto Rico, weighing in at 220 pounds. Strongman. Guys, what can we expect from this fatal four-way tables match here tonight? You mean aside from four competitors doing everything humanly possible to not get thrown through a table court? Other than that, I can say with confidence that we will see one poor soul actually get put to the table. And introducing the challenger from Vietnam, weighing in at 222 pounds, Chris. Now we're just Eliminator. moments away from this huge fatal four way match. You're absolutely right, Michael. This match is huge. And from talking to some of the superstars earlier today, I'm willing to bet the monitors in the back are sold out for this one. And introducing the challenger from Parts Unknown, weighing in at 330 pounds, the Crusher. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our fatal four-way match. And one of these superstars will walk away from here with plenty of brag about, while the other three will likely be wondering what went wrong for them here tonight.
And introducing the champion from out of this world, weighing in at 240 pounds. A big time Fader four-way match he coming up here, guys. Which means, believe it or not, we're going to be sending away Ralph three of these superstars with a loss here tonight. The four men in the ring are set. One of those chaotic contests a superstar can compete in is a fatal four-way. Anything can happen, and the match can be over in an instant. Call the cops, Cole, because I have a feeling this fatal four-way is going to steal the show. Oh, that's the impact. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Nailed it. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. He needs to make sure he doesn't get double or even triple teamed here. Yeah, but he's got a very untraditional approach tonight, which includes spending a great deal of time outside the ring. That may help him in the long run. We'll see. I know it's early, but if things stay the way they are, winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him. What a clothesline! Ouch! He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Oof! He wants no part of the outside. Back in the ring now. He's making a statement here with this attack. What's this? Ooh, what impact. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Boom, what impact. DDT. Big opportunity here. Is that it? Is it over? The challenge is starting to falter. The fatal four-way environment might just be too much for him to handle. At this point, it's still anybody's match hole, but he's got to be careful not to take too much more punishment here if he wants to be the one walking away with the win. The fatal four-way match works like this. Four superstars are in the ring all at once. There are no countouts and no disqualifications. Look out, look out, this could be it! I don't believe it. And that table can short careers, Michael. Corey talking about the ground rules of a fatal four-way match. One thing to keep in mind is that depending on the stipulation, there could be eliminations in the match. Meaning that once a superstar is pinned, taps out, is counted out, or is disqualified, they are eliminated from the match. But the battle wages on. And a stipulation can change the entire complexion of a match, as one may think. Right through the table. Face first. This table match and its carnage is over. Well, it wasn't literally fatal, but it was pretty close. Take a look. Yeah, he's putting in the work. Man, oh man. Look at that. Check him out here. And finally, here is your winner and still hardcore champion, Ralph Marge. Could have gone either way there for a while. It could have gone so many different ways, but in the end, only one of these competitors had what it truly takes to be the alpha.
We may be in New Orleans tonight, but I assure you there was nothing easy about that win right there.